Good morning, my name is Kristen Keyes. Uh, it took me a few days to decide how I was gonna present my personal ethics narrative. I've done a lot of thinking and reflection on my life, identifying those important things that truly made up um, how I got to where I am today. So I was born in the early 80s, uh, raised in Anaheim, California, right outside Disneyland. Um, at the time, Anaheim was, from my point of view, predominantly Caucasian, middle class. I remember at some point in grade school, the first time I met an African-American child the same age I was, and remember thinking how different they were from me. I was brought up in a private Lutheran school where we were taught the typical Christian values, uh, praise God, go to church, honor your father and mother, uh, and the rest of the Ten Commandments. There was a huge focus on no drugs, no sex until you were married. If you fit the mold, you were a good person. Um, if you didn't, you were going to hell. When I graduated eighth grade, I moved to a public high school in a different town where the only person I knew was my next door neighbor. Uh, for me, this was a whole new world, different races, different backgrounds, different religious views. Uh, it was what I thought at the time, uh, a melting pot. As I went on in my life, I realized how little of a melting pot it truly was. Um, for a period of time, I straddled both worlds trying to hold on to those basic beliefs, um, but I was curious and curiosity got to me. It didn't take me long uh, to open my eyes to how much more there was in the world outside of the church that I knew. I began to see how judgmental and closed-minded the church made me. I quickly turned against the church and at the time seeing them as bad um, and anything that went against it as good. I got heavily involved in a local punk movement, uh, anti-government, anti-establishment, anarchy, you know, etc. Now I see it as sort of ridiculous, but it was how I evolved. So if we move to my family, uh, my home life, both my parents were on their second marriage when they had me. My father didn't have any previous children, but my mother had three sons from before. Two of them were raised my, by my grandparents in Hawaii, uh, and I never really knew them growing up. However, I was raised with one, and my parents went on to have my younger sister and my younger brother. Uh, my parents fought my whole life. I believed arguing, fighting, yelling to be the norm. Uh, then one day when I was in high school, I got the rug pulled out from under me. Everything I thought about my family was wrong. My father had been cheating on my mother since I was four. Uh, my parents divorced and I lost all respect for them, for a marriage, for family, uh, for everything they ever taught me. So this drove me down a path of trying to determine what my values were, uh, not what I was told to believe, but what I personally truly believed. I came across an Emerson quote that I've held dear to my heart, uh, to know one life has breathed easier because you have lived, this is to have succeeded. I started to read about Buddhism, focusing on the Dalai Lama. I had the opportunity to attend one of his teachings in LA on compassion. During this time period, we experienced the horrors of September 11th and war, a large focus on global warming and the environment. I began to value what I call the basic fundamentals of being a good person, honesty, respect, compassion, empathy, understanding. I began to realize and accept more than anything that I don't know, and that my, my life is a path of education where I learn every day something new and different than the day before. In my late 20s, I became a mother to a daughter who is now six, and I have an almost three-year-old son. Uh, becoming a mother made me dig deeper into what my beliefs and values were and what I wanted to, to teach my children. Uh, today, more than anything, I believe in acceptance of things that are different and teaching my children to value their individuality and the indiv individuality of others, to show respect not only to people, but also to the world around them, being compassionate, empathetic, and honest, to allow others to make decisions for their life based on truth, not lies, to be okay with, mis to be okay with making mistakes and learning from them, to wake up every day and do something nice for someone else, to think about others and how your choices impact them. So if we go back to Emerson, to know one life has breathed easier because you have lived, this is to have succeeded. Thanks.